What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today we are playing the Dirty Ice mission in Payday 3 in normal mode. We're doing it fully stealth. We're gonna do it solo and we're gonna equip our masks. I'm working on a no mask version but I haven't found it yet completely. So for this mission we're gonna rob a jewelry store. Um, there is two spawn locations where you can spawn. You can either spawn in the center or on the right side. It doesn't really matter. Stay First sharp. thing I go and do is go inside. This is the manager, by the way. That's we will need her later. It's and I'm behind the manager. Out there out is an employee of the month sign. This code is one of the schedule. possible codes for the basement. So just go ahead and remember it just in case. Easy then if you money. want, you can start Check looting the already. Area. So there are the some display cases that you can just open. Just make sure that no one is observing you. And also some things are just standing there. You can also grab them. Again, make sure that no one is observing you. Now, I didn't grab too much over here because the main things that we want are in the vault and then also in the VIP room. And that's, of course, what we want. We want the big money. And also all of the things in the standard display public area. I don't really think you can grab them in stealth mode. Then go ahead and go to the left side. Go to this fence and lock picket. There is a guard patrolling here. Make sure that he doesn't see you. And then over here, what you're looking for is a blue key card on the back of the guard and also a phone on the floor. In my case over here, none of those two were here, so we have to go find it somewhere else. But over there, you can find a blue key card and a phone. If they're over there, scan the phone and also take the key card. If they're not over there, come all the way over here, so to the other side of the store. You can see, by the way, over here on the right, there is a van that we will use to escape so keep that in mind but the other location where the phone can be is over here so you can just take it no worries maybe make sure that the guard doesn't see you because it is a private area so private means you're not allowed to be there public areas you can just uh, walk around as you like then you can use the QR code that you found on the phone to unlock this door over here now be careful again there is a guard patrolling so make sure he doesn't see you the other option is also there is a door at the other side where we went before. That's weird. You can also open it with the QR code, but just open one of those two. So don't try to open both. You will find other phones as well, but you will need those QR codes. Then when you're inside, if the guard isn't there, first thing you can do is open this door on the left and this will be the office of the manager. So also make sure that the employees don't see you. Usually you get like a question mark or a exclamation mark if someone is seeing you. So just stop then and do it when they're gone. In the office you will find a phone. It's either on the desk, on the couch or maybe next to the coffee machine on the left. And then what you want to do is hack the computer. Now this computer will tell you basically everything that you have to know about this mission. First of all for the multi-tag scanner which I will explain in a bit. You will need the manager, this is really important. Then for the vault, you need two people, so it's a two-person system. I will also show this, of course. And then for the basement code, it will either be the Wi-Fi password, which you can find in the lunch room or the break room, or it will be the number of the employee of the month, which I showed you guys in the beginning, which is just in the public space. Go to the restroom or the toilet, however you want to call it. Get the code, the QR code from this phone over here. Then on the left, make sure that the guard isn't there by the way, you will find the lunchroom on the whiteboard, you see the Wi-Fi password, so this is in my case the password for the basement. And then also over here, either on this table or on the countertop in the kitchen, there is again a phone, get the QR code from this as well. So right now I used one QR code, but I still have three left, and this is really important because you will need all of them. Then the next thing is going to the basement. So we found the code, it was the Wi-Fi password. There is two different entrances to the basement. Both of them will use the same code. The first one is over here on the right, which I prefer. Now I was a little bit too fast over here, so the guard saw me. Normally when you run past him, he doesn't get alerted, but over here he did. But just wait until he's gone and then you can go ahead and go to the right. It's a private area, so if the guard catches you, Without your mask, it's no issue, by the way. So when he's gone, you can run down and then you will see this keypad. So just type in the Wi-Fi code or the number of the employee of the month and then the door is going to open. 
Now in the basement there is normally two cameras I think, the location is every time different and there's also one guard patrolling. His patrol route is always kind of the same but it's also slightly different each time you will do the um, heist. So the first door that you want to get into is this one on the left, make sure that you don't get seen by the camera. You have to lockpick this door and what you will find behind this one is very important. So there's three things, first of all the red key card, which you need for the vault. Then this switch over here well which is for the display Patrick, cases, the display so it's kind of the safety for the display cases that you will turn off. And then also this safe over here which will have a document that we will use to lure in the manager into her office so that we can kidnap her. I was kind of struggling here with the safe but the system is pretty easy when it starts vibrating and when it turns green just wait a bit and then uh, you have to do this three times. So in the safe only documents, no cash, sadly. But you have to wait like five seconds before you will get the option to scan uh, the documents and take the evidence. Now, when you're out, uh, again, be careful for the camera and also be careful for the guard. But we also have to do one more thing in the basement and that's basically take out the guy in the camera room or the security room. Because if we do this, all of the cameras will be disabled. Now over here I forgot the blue key card. so like I said the guard that we went to in the beginning he might have it, if he doesn't have it it's the guard on the other side. So I forgot to get this, so it's basically here on the right, uh, this guard patrolling here which also goes inside, he will have the blue key card, or the guard on the left uh, with the gates that we opened if you guys remember. But get the blue key card from one of those two guards and then you can enter the um, camera room or the security room. The same as I did in the first mission, so no rest for the wicked if you saw my video. So you just take out this guy over here and then uh, all of the cameras will be disabled and you can move very freely and it will be very easy. So to do this, of course, you will have Let's to equip your this. mask. So from this moment on, if any employee sees you, they will get alerted. So you have to be kind of more careful. But the good side is, of course, that you don't have to worry about the cameras. Don't forget to Oops. answer the radio. Sorry, buddy. You have Must have four chances for this, so you can do this it's four times. Tiny. Also, keep that in mind. These things so don't take anymore. out guards that are unnecessary. The guard that is patrolling in the basement, job? normally, you what? can just run away. I had bad luck and he was just outside the door when I opened it. I was fast enough, though, to grab him. Normally, no! if he sees you face to face, he will draw his gun, I think, right and then it's kind of the over your out of stealth radios. mode. But I was I like lucky and better. I could grab him over here. Right, I took right. him down and then okay. also answered the radio. Just be careful when you open the door. Don't make the same mistake as me. Next thing we're gonna do is take out the guard that is patrolling inside this area. So it's the guard that also goes outside for a bit. But I really recommend that you take him out because when you're taking the loot, to the van you will take this route all the time so you will pass this hallway and when this guard is patrolling over there it will make it a lot more difficult for you also any employees that you see tie them up throw them in a room maybe the manager's office one employee you can also use them later on so that's very handy you can already go ahead and open the vip room you will need one qr code for this the other two that we found we will use them for default so we used one QR code to open the outside door, one for the VIP room, and then two for the vault. So like I said, take out the guard that is patrolling inside calling, buddy. and also so much outside. Now. Don't forget I'm to glad answer you guys the radio. Over there are and so then from this moment on, you can move pretty easily inside. Okay, right. So then what we want to do is go to the VIP room. We already opened the door with a QR code and go to this That's door over workshop. here. Excellent. Now when you go to this door over center. here, uh, the voice that is basically giving you tips, I don't know how to call it. She will say that um, she can call in the manager by calling her and telling her about the documents that we found in the basement because there was some pretty um, yeah, dirty info in those documents, so that's a way to lure her in. You can already start to loot already in the VIP room as well, so the things that are just open, the display cases that you can just open without having to um, pick the lock. Then to lure in the manager, you will have to go to her office. On the office desk, there is a phone that you can use to call her. 
and then basically the um, woman that is helping us, I don't know her name, she will tell her that she found the documents and this will um, lure in the manager to her office. Also, when you're waiting for her, maybe check inside if there isn't any employees anywhere, because if there is, normally it's just one, but if there is another one, you will also have to tie them up because they will just be in your way. Wait for the manager, she will come uh, through the VIP room, so if you're in there, be careful. If she sees you, to be honest, it doesn't matter that much because you will still have time to just grab her and tie her up. So the manager will use her because she's the only one that has access to the room where we have the multi-tag scanner. And the reason why we're using this multi-tag scanner is because some of the jewelry that we're gonna steal has a tag on it, only this machine can see it and we don't want to waste our time with these uh, pieces of jewelry because we cannot sell them afterwards. So just shove the manager in front of the screen. Afterwards, you can also just tie her up again, doesn't really matter. There's no one that will come inside of this room or even inside of this area. So just tie her up maybe in this corner so that she cannot bother us anymore. Now, before we continue, we will also open the vault so you can take the other employee if you don't have another employee for some reason you can also use the manager and you want to assign him or her to this button over here so they will have to press this button and at the same time kind of you will have to use the red key card that we found in the basement to open the vault door so this is the two person system one person will have to scan a key card and the other person will have to press the button on the desk of the manager. Now, the box. desk button was always in that location, or the red button was always in that location for me. It could be somewhere else in the manager's office as well, but for me, in my experience, it was always the there. The so in the vault, alley. you will find a very expensive piece of jewelry. You can already dump it next to the door that I did, because that's the door that we will use to go outside. Then go to the VIP room and start lockpicking all of these display cases. After you take what's inside, put it in the machine. So just drop it in the machine. The machine is going to scan all of the jewelry and it's going to remove the ones that have a tag on it because those ones we cannot sell. Now I have to warn you guys, this machine takes some time so you can put everything in it and then it will give everything back one by one. By the way, uh, someone asked me on my latest video which perks I used, I didn't change anything since I bought the game, so everything is just on standard. That means that everyone can basically do uh, or follow the method that I'm showing over here. So just continue, lockpick all the display cases and go and throw them in that machine. Now once you took everything and put it in the machine, you will have to wait a bit. So in this time, you can go ahead and clear the route or the route that we will use to escape and that we will use to take all of the loot to the van. So there is a guard patrolling over there and also next to the van there is a employee. So both of them you will have to take them out depending on which one is where, first to the guard or first to the employee. The guard wasn't around so I just took out the employee first. Then the guard was coming so I just immediately went back inside, upstairs, so I can kind of just grab him from the back. And this was the last guard that I could take out. I did one too much in the basement, so the one in the basement wasn't necessary. But in total, you have um, four guards that you can take out. I don't know if there is a skill where you can take no, out no more. No problem here. But at least Must be all the standard skills and perks. So after this moment, you're pretty much done. You. you just have to I wait for the machine off, to give you back all the jewelry. Okay. You have to take everything to the van, and that's it. Don't, of course, forget the bag with the content that you have from the vault because this is the most valuable. So just one by one, okay, start taking bag, everything the to the van, drop it inside, and then we are finished. Now you have to wait a bit probably for the scanner because it gives every package or every bag of jewelry one by one. But there is no issue, to be honest. You can wait here as long as you want. You can take as long as you want because no one is gonna see us we can stand here for an hour and we will still be in stealth so you have nothing to worry about at all that's basically it guys so after you took everything you can just leave uh, the stuff that was in the main display room I don't think you can get it in stealth the ones that were open you could have gotten them in the beginning before you mask up but the ones in the display cases that you have to open or that you have to break 
I don't think you can get them stealth because for this you would have to get everyone outside of the um, main public area and I can't really think of a method that you can use to clear this entire area. But maybe if you guys have one let me know in the comments and then I can make an updated version of this video but for now I think the only things that you can get in stealth is the VIP room, some of the things in the main public room and then of course also the vault. That was it guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, check out my discord server in the description and peace out you guys.